سلاح خون کنی برس ام کاتان باش ام رو باسی که دل سیستم اگر دیگه کنی داشت که این که ویژه بین که ل رینال فیزیولوژی و باسی سرکچر و پکاتا کنی ام سیستم اکین و باسی رولی ام سیستم اکین ل رخستنی فرمان کنی خوی و کاریه ل سیستم اکانی The unity system is made as I'm. I'm quite sure you have like a bit of information about this system in general. Any you have, معلوماتی کنی. هنگام معلومات هنر سیستم سیستم خیلی بدال نیایی با. حالا ما کوچی خست نویم. So the the unity system is consisting of what with the what we have here, we have two kidneys, each located at each side of the body. We have right and left uh, kidney. Then what we have, we have two uh, ureters. So they are extended from where they are extended from the uh, kidney toward the urinary bladder. This one extended from the left side of the left kidney to the urinary bladder and this one is extended from where from the right kidney to the urinary bladder then uh, what we have here this is the this structure is called the urinary bladder um, uh, urinary bladder uh, and then <laughs> what we have uh, there is another structure which is called urethra so urethra is a shaded uh, canal between the uh, urinary and reproductive system. I think we mentioned this when we had our lecture about the uh, reproductive system, the male and female reproductive system, if, if you remember. Like every time because you put my urethra, she had to kind of like a baby, Kondami Zauzu, Kondami Nizarwa, she, she, how was she? Who am I? We can like Zvani Kuri Kuri Nizarwan and urinary blood. So uh, the formation of urine is the function of the kidneys. I mean, there's one with the pedigree servet, the kidney cana. Okay, we will explain this in detail. And the rest of the system is responsible for elimination of the urine. So the ureteris, urinary bladder, and urethra are involved with what? With the elimination of. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, the most important part uh, of the urinary system is the nephronis and uh, the uh, blood vessels. Okay, so the kidneys, it means the right and left kidneys, uh, kidneys, sorry, receive about 25% uh, of the cardiac output. So, uh, uh, I am quite sure you know what you meant by the cardiac output because when we uh, took the uh, had our lecture about the blood pressure, we explained the cardiac output in detail. Okay, so about it's a massive amount. I mean, twenty-five percent of the cardiac output is passing through where through the uh, kidney to be uh, filtered. Uh, uh, يعني تقريبا لصدى بالسوبين جي كارديك اوتبوت بناو قوشي لكان تيفا ريبو او فلتريشيني بو بكري so uh, blood enter the uh, kidneys uh, or enter each, each kidney via a, or through a renal artery then it divided into uh, this structure which is called the afferent artery okay we have this, this is called the uh, afferent uh, artery, okay? Uh, so the afferent artery will deliver blood to the glomerular ca capillaries. And she can uh, uh, deliver any afferent artery. So when I got it, I got it now, oh, capillary, now, boom, it's capsule. And we can filter the blood. 
then what we have, we have uh, <coughs> uh, okay, so what we say, we, we said we have a point arterial, glomerular uh, capillary, we have a network of capillary within the Bowman's uh, capsule, and this is a site where the process of filtration uh, can happen. Then they merge to form or to form another uh, uh, artery, which is calling the efferent arteriole. Efferent arteriole. So the efferent uh, arteriolus drains the blood from the glomerular capillary. So any efferent arteriole blood that you regret la amniatum am shabaka la capillary and abomas capsula or yaka green hamuyan capillary can. Second, they mesh to form what the efferent arteriole, and then the efferent arteriole uh, delivers the blood to the peritubular capillaries. So, this is uh, peritubular capillary. This is a renal tubule. This structure is the renal tubule, and these capillaries are called the peritubular uh, capillaries, and they have a role in the process of urine formation. We will explain this later, okay? Uh, they form what? The, they form a peritubular capillaries. Then uh, the pericapillary, peritubular capillaries, this network of capillary, they merge to form what? To form a vein or a venule, uh, which is, uh, yeah, or let's just, what's called by a ve venule or a small vein. And then finally, they uh, the venules are uh, merging or they combine to, to form what to form the uh, renal vein, vein. Okay, the renal vein which drains the uh, blood from the kidneys toward the uh, vascular system toward the heart. Okay, any bakuri chiman here can jar arteriac man here. Here the GPO trade. Renal artery, go retrend, the rabbit, she read the interlobular artery, or the artery, she do secat, I'm a green tea, and I can check out afferent arteriole, afferent. Then the afferent arteriole is divided to form or to form a glomerular capillary, a network which is a network of capillary, and Shabbate, the capillary, the Bussadeli. و دوای از چه کرد؟ اما نیکه گناه دوباره چی دو سکن افرند آرتریول دو سکن که بلاد ل لام نیتورک کپیلری که نبود کپسول عیار اگریت اجازه تو بچه و دوباره لبری اوی بیه به وین به تو با چی دوباره به تو با کپیلری این چی من هی آرتریول کپیلری آرتریول دن کپیلری اگریت This is a let's say specific arrangement of the vascular system. We'll explain this later in detail. Uh, how we are called a vanilla, vein can call a bunch of second, renal vent do second, would do a lot, blood a gazette over here, filter it blood of the blood capitulation board for our, a cat open as you go now, circulatory system. Okay. Then uh, what we have, we have a, let us say, um, the most important uh, unit in the kidney is uh, a structure or structures which are called the nephrons. So the nephrons are the functional units of the kidneys. Functional units of the ki kidneys are recognized as the nephrons. Each kidney contains approximately about uh, one million nephrons. So each kidney nephron. I'm structure of the OTC, the OTC, nephron, and how we pay OTC, nephron. Who her good she like Benizike, yak million nephronic, yak million lamb, structure and it. So 
each nephron is made of different uh, uh, parts. And had nephron is a part of the Bruce Bush and Bushiki here. The first one is called the renal corpuscle. I'm Basha. PLGP, renal corpuscle. I'm a Nibomanis capsule, and renal corpuscle. I'm Basha. I'm Bashiki, PLGP, renal corpuscle, which is the site where the blood plasma is filtered. So, so we have a network of capillary within the renal capsule. So the, the process of uh, plasma or blood filtration is happen in this part of the kidney. So it's a site where the process of filtration can happen. So consisting of a glomerular capillary network and network capillary, which is a glomerular capillary network, network I mean, which is surrounded by the Bowman's capsule. Mapi utri Bowman's capsule, any renal corpuscle. So renal corpuscle. Corpuscle is made of what of a network of capillary or glomerular capillary and. The Bowman is capsule. I'm a capsule here. I'm actually the bigger capsule. Capillary. Then what we have the second structure of the nephron is the renal tubule. This is all. This elongated tube is the structure of what is called the renal tubule. I'm a hamui. I'm a hamui. Renal tubule. So the renal tubule is made of a single epithelial layer that processes the filtrate to urine through process of reabsorption and excretion. We will explain these uh, processes one by one. Okay. So the renal tubule is a, made of what of a single epithelial layer. And the tubules were leg layer la epithelium. Epithelium, the Russet War. And you know what, what is the advantage of having a single epithelial layer. So, when you have a single epithelial layer, so the process of uh, reabsorption and uh, secretion uh, can be, uh, uh, can happen in, a, let us say, in, in an efficient way. Yani, Agato, Yak, 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 Khanet, Habri, and Yak. Single epithelial layer, like the book of capillary wire, Mish, shown out the yak layer endothelial layer, like the rosebo. I'm sure any epithelial layer, like single layer, like the rosebo, how a cab as any matter can ham reabsorption in our body, or ham hachi matter, it is like a bucket boot, boost the bucket of the oil, or how a cab as any secretion, bo akri. So it is yak tube, like the am tube. لشيد رزبول ليك لير ليك لير لشيد رزبول ده سينجل إبيثيليم يعني إبيثيليم يكي ب درزبول، okay؟ so and it it has let us say different parts. The first part of the renal tubule is called the proximal convoluted tube. يعني أم برشة سريرة لدواي renal corpuscle أم برشة ني في أو تشي في أو تيت proximal convoluted tube proximal ني the first part then convoluted it means it has a let us say coiled structure okay so it is proximal convoluted tube then what we have we have the loop of Hindley this is this structure is called the loop of Hindley ما لازم أنا كل بيوت loopy Hindley which is a U-shaped uh, tube. Uh -huh. It has a uh, U-shaped uh, structure consisting of a thin descending limb. limb. This is thin, okay? If you compare between this part and this part, this one is thinner in compared to this part, okay, of the uh, handling. So it is made of a thin 
uh, descending them in descending them then what we have again thin ascending them and thick ascending them so we have thin defending thin ascending them and thick ascending them of the hand okay so then what we have this part also uh, is called the distal convoluted tubule distal is the lower part according to the human nomenclature the last part is called distal again convoluted it, it means it has a curly uh, structure so distal convoluted tubule and then what we have we have the collecting ducts so several uh, uh, tubules or renal tubules are claimed together and combined to form what to form the collecting duct of the kidney but this is shiman here what we have we have a uh, renal corpuscle proximal convoluted tubule loop of henley distal convoluted tubule and uh, collecting ducts okay or renal collecting ducts and the loop of the henley made of different uh, parts or sections the first part is called the thin descending limb uh, thin ascending limb and thick ascending limb of uh, the hand uh, and part with my process is here are with that process urine formation and it's uh, the process of the information will explain this later is passing through three main processes the first one is the filtration then the absorption in somewhere here and then what we have we have the uh, ex, uh, secretion so from the capillary some mark chemical agent or some substances can be secreted into the filtrate and then eliminated with the urine okay uh, so uh, now I'm trying to explain the process of urine formation so the process of urine formation is a sequential event and it's passing through uh, different processes uh, it started from the filtration then what we have we have uh, two additional process which are called the uh, uh, tubular reabsorption and tubular excretion so uh, the process of urine formation is uh, passing through three main steps the first one is the uh, glomerular filtration then uh, we have the process of renal tubular reabsorption and uh, tubular uh, excretion so uh, the first i'm trying to explain the first step of uh, in the process of urine formation any process it was bony urine a second of a tear of a rake and pretty much be table glomerular filtration filtration blood or other do i watch man here tubular reabsorption and reabsorption of water and other required material is back into the circulatory system and you will actually make it is a rule better to use for wow اگر آواشی گرفت و بناو سکتی سیستم و دو همیان سی همیان بری تیلی چی لا تیبیولر سکریشن سو این دی پروسیس آف سکریشن چی رو ادات هر مادی که زن بخش بیه که نتوانه فیلتریشنی با بکره در رگه سکریشن رو اکیت ناو فیلتریت رو اکیت ناو یورین رو لرگه کنی رو اکیت در روی لش سو دی Glomerular uh, filtration it is a, a process in which water and some solutes uh, in the blood plasma pass from the capillaries of the glomerulus into the uh, capsular space of the nephron. The process of the absorption of plasma legal water or to our can now plasma filtration and bo akhir la regi glomerular capillary wa bo ki bo now wa manis capsule wa capsule ki ba dawri 
glomerular capillary head plus maxillary corpuscle and processor row attack. So the permission of solutes through the glomerular capillaries uh, depend uh, on uh, two main uh, factors. The first one is the uh, solute, uh, solute size and the second one is the solute charge. Any filtration uh, molecule like now uh, the one is capsule the cell at Madi the such a hell has me out to a week hat or medical and now does matter now blood at a legal charge a girl any charge oh Madi cat about you as an must man the charge you will know oh I will need a hammer will not positive a negative charge okay so molecules with a molecular weight less less than excuse kilo dalton or kg can be filtered freely. Then the whole molecule like weight a key molecule weight a key chibiet can chibiet le shash kg can be filtered freely. Then by asani at one chibiet filtration ni bo bkiet wa pass be banau che banau capillary ka. However, the molecules with a molecular weight more than 70 uh, kilodalton uh, are impermeable. So it means when you have like a large molecule such as a protein or the, let us say, other molecules, so because of their uh, large size, because of uh, their molecular weight, because of having like a molecular which weight which is uh, higher or greater than uh, 70 uh, uh, kd so it cannot be filtered any uh, such as the plasma proteins albumin or the other proteins okay yani her molecule ke tabu ka la hafta kilo dalton weight ke chi bu zortir bu okata ba asani filtration bu na ke na twane pas bi bana ka ke ke de ka wala na blood amenia tawa u ku chi mane ku protein ka twane advantage khoy ka za let us say a very great advantage in the process of the information. Okay, then he told you here. I got one boy. We might lose it most of the blood proteins or molecules in the process of filtration. So I got process. I'm I'm hasma na boa hasma gaudi na boa ba asani filtration na boa kia wa ima zoi protein kan kia bidus mana kia la lagi filtration wa la des mana da la bala wa ima chi bi tu har molecule ki kia lish mana hai bi guna pa ta bati protein kia zoi gaudi na gaudi agar la hafta kia di zoi kia boa kia ta filtration na boa na so the solutus charge the second factor which has an influence in the process of the filtration is called is the solute is depending on the uh, solute's charge. So negatively charged solutes are less likely to be filtered than the neutral or positively charged molecule. Uh, as you know, the um, uh, I think we already mentioned this. We said the uh, renal uh, or the nephron is made of of, of cells. So uh, the S and you know the uh, cell membrane is made of what of um, uh, phospholipids and the phospholipids normally has a or have the let us say a, a negative charge. Okay, so that's why when uh, you have like a negative the charged molecule in the blood and when it is trying to pass through the um, uh, capillary bedis, which is made of a phospholipid, and it has a, a negative uh, charge. So the molecule is uh, repelled uh, from the membrane. And you can to do magnetism to make a bone jamsiri bakuru bakuli like nizike to pal betu deki dura kona wa ya bashuru bashuri ke kona zibeke ita wa hasa ke repel ya kiri agani pali pione wa duri akata wa. امیش به همان شیوه یعنی بون منا مولشولی که تیه که نگتیف چارجی هیا بو سیل ممبرین خوی نگتیف چارجا که نگتیف و نگتیف لیک نیزی که پال بیکتیو دوری خاطو لبرو با آسانی فیلتریشن بو نگتیف چارج ناکه بلا هم the other molecules including the neutral and positively charged uh, 
uh, molecules, as you know, when you have a negative and positive charge, so they, they are attracting each other. And you look at the reaction, the molecule is positive and neutral, the cell membrane capillary can be negative, and the reaction is negative, and the filtration is negative. The first thing is the molecule is negative, and the molecule is negative. او کاتا اتوانی چی بکت فیلترش می لپال اما یعنی وی سید دی نگتیفلی چارجید مولیشور ار لیس لایکلی تو بی فیلترید یعنی زور بزوری فیلترش نیا بولیم بر لپال اما شاید هندگ نگتیف چارج پاسی انباری ری شکن و هنی کن هر فیلترش نیا بو اکی بلام لیس لایکلی یعنی بکنی بکنی چی بید ام حالتا رو اتا then what we have the glomerular filtration. So the glomerular filtration can be affected by different factors. And we said the process of urine formation is passing through three main steps. The first one is the filtration, and then reabsorption and excretion. So. Uh, what are the factors which might have uh, uh, or might affect the process of uh, filtration? Uh, so the first one is the uh, filtration pressure, and the second one is the filtration barriers. I mean, filtration pressure, the pressure which is uh, pushing the molecules into the Bowman's capsule. Okay, the pressure which is uh, to have a look at here, the pressure which is pushing the molecules through the capillary beds into the Bowman's capsule. This is a bo the Bowman's cap capsule. This is a glomerular uh, capillary network which is located here. Okay, so the first uh, factor which affecting the uh, process of uh, filtration is the filtration. Pressure. So the pressure which is created onward on the capillary bed is here. And the second one is the filtration barriers. So we, you, we have the capillaries, Roman scapula. We will explain this uh, later. Okay, so, so the process of filtration can be affected by two main factors. The first one is the uh, filtration pressure, and the second one is the uh, filtration barriers. And, oh, Hadzani Kakona Regi filtration. So the, the filtration pressure. There are three main pressures that contribute in creating in creating filtration pressure. So we have three main uh, pressures. The first one is called the uh, glomerular hydrostatic pressure. Glomerular hydrostatic pressure. And the second one is the colloid osmotic pressure which is created between the um, filtrate and the uh, blood or the plasma within the uh, capillaries here at this part of the uh, kidney and the second one is the Bowman's capsule pressure the pressure which is created at within the Bowman's capsule so the um, glomerular hydrostatic pressure is mainly uh, regulated or affected by what? By the diameter of the afferent or the difference between the diameter of the afferent and the efferent artery. Okay? So normally the diameter of the efferent artery, the art artery which is draining the blood from the uh, glomerular capillary, so is smaller than the diameter of what of the efferent artery. Well, in the healthy asaya, diameter of efferent artery will be friend to capillary. Can you know what I'm talking about? But you can tell that the diameter of any efferent artery will be like blood vessels, but you have capillary. Can when you have a difference between these two diameters, so she she will adapt. So the process of filtration can. progress or can happen. I mean, Katika 
دانی کلی او برخونی که یه تنها کافی که زورتر بیاد ل او برخونی که لی درسی او کاتا پیش شرکت کلا سه کافی که کان زورتر بیه معنای وای فیلتریشن با آسانی رو آن. ام پیش شرکت طبعا it is called the hydrostatic pressure which is mainly created by the or affected by the let us say systemic pressure or systemic cardiovascular the pressure which is created within the vascular system and the zori of pressure collected you see the vascular system through set do I have colloid osmotic pressure as you know uh, as a result of the uh, blood filtration, so uh, the normally the blood is uh, losing most of it is uh, water in the process of filtration. So you have a concentrated uh, plasma or blood within the capillaries, and when you have a concentrated plasma or um, blood within the capillaries, so. It means uh, an increase in the what in the uh, osmolarity of uh, the uh, blood at this side. The osmolarity blood is very high. The ambush now can be very high. But so by our case, it's very rare. We need to see man here. We need to see protein. So by protein, it can be now capillary. It can be not. We can see size. It can be very rich. Now, but it can be osmolarity is very high. We need a protein free. It can be very protein. It can be tiny. و مش بته هوی اوی کلیره آو زور بیلیره آو کم بیو آو آو محاوله که بگر رفیو بناو کافی داده که کاته اما بته چی نегاتیف فورس یک کم نالد زیادتر فیلتریشن رو بده و سیکنس دی ثرد پارتی دی بومانس کپسول پرشر اس یو نو وین یو هاف لاته سی ا های امانت اف دی فیلتریت هیر اف دی فیلتریت هیر سو the pressure within the Bowman's capsule is increasing. And if I take absorbed blood is all the filtration, the core of the pressure is zero. If zero, it will be a negative pressure. It's called a nailed zero pressure filtration rule. The quarter. Is that what it is? What we have here, we have one positive pressure, which is push pushing the solutes and water into the Bowman's capsule, and two negative pressure, which is preventing uh, preventing what? Preventing the uh, process of filtration, uh, including the colloid osmotic pressure. I think we already mentioned this. And Bowman's capsule pressure. When you subtracted these two negative pressure from this positive uh, pressure, the net uh, filtration pressure is it became what? It became about 10 millimeter mercury. Okay, and it even to do negative pressure, take a nail at filtration, rub it up. Osmola colloid osmotic pressure can now cut the drus a bit. I'll leave them how they are bigger. Tower you have a little pressure zora bit. The pressure zora bit. I mean, Nahel is that a pre-filtration rope. That got had you can negative a bin. A man positive a bit. Capali to on it. Bahoy Diazi and to capillary. I'm actually like a head of a hair. Okay, to share better. Well, positive positivity. I do 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 negative. Got a net pressure like a bit of chunk of heaven. That. تملت مکری و به تهوی اوی که پروش پیشی که فیلتر. Then we said the glomerular filtration can be affected by two main factors. The first one was the filtration pressure. We just explained this, and now what we have here, this is a filtration barrier. So, او حد زانه چین کنایهالن. که اکنون بینی بونا فیلتریت که ام ایرا و بومانس کپسول. So we have the filtration barrier acts as a sieve and consists of three major layers. So it can act as a sieve. Sieve دزمانی کردی آنیو که هلاکی که پو برجینی دور آبینی و که هلاکی دور آبینن و لسه لیر دوست بودن یکم یعنی چیه او که ام کپیلیران چی معنی کپیلیران این دو تولا لیر ده تایه طبعا این دو کپیلیران چه این دو تولا نمیه اما حرسی یکم با او لکرگری لفیلتریش نکرد دو هم حادث هم معنی سنگل سیلید کپسولر ایتو تولا لیر طبعا کپسولر که ایتو چی دروز بود دوباره لیر 
ایپیتیلیال لیه دیگه کنیشت بوا ساتا اندوتیلیالی کاتی لیه دیگه آنت هیه ایپیتیلیمی بو منس کپسولت هیه لگل بیزمنت ممبرین آف بو منس کپسول یعنی او ازان همو ایپیتیلی همو تیشوی چی هیه بیزال ممبرینی که هیه که تیشوی که لیه سره ساتا تو سه با یو وی هاف تری مین باریرز سه فیرس وان ایز دی کپیلی اندوتیلیال لیه which line the capillaries within the Bowman's capsule. And then what you have, you have a, a single uh, a solid capsular epithelial layer. So any, the uh, renal nephron or the nephron is, or renal tubules and the nephron is made of, of a single epithelial layer. So that's why we have a, what we have a single uh, solid uh, capsular epithelial layer, ma, layer uh, here. What do I want to mean here? Um, our basement is a single solid capsular layer, less seriety, less serious. Because we have three barriers, uh, which uh, can act as a sieve and. Uh, it affected the process of what? Of filtration. I need to say, I got to say the same thing. You can see man here, um, epithelium or endothelium of the capillary. I'm an endothelium of the capillary, the tiny capillary canica. Second, uh, basement membrane uh, of the epithelial uh, Bowman's capsule, epithelium. Data. شی من هی اندوثیلیال هی لگال ایپیثیلیم و ایپیثیلیم که لسات شیل سال بیز میبندی. اما چه که اما اکثرت بینی لفکاری پروسسی که تو کو بی پروسسی فیلتریشن او کو حادثه که لبینی کپسول سپیس لگال کافیلی کان ده هی و اکثرت اوش او سولوش نی او مادنی که فیلتریش نکن بناو ام سی بالی را تی پره و او جا فیلتریش نی بوده. Then the second process in the uh, process of urine formation is the tubular reabsorption. We just mentioned the process of glomerular filtration. Now I'm talking about the second process in the uh, process of urine formation. This is called the tubular reabsorption. It is uh, the process of reclaiming, look, uh -huh, reclaiming. The claiming of water and solutes. If you have a look here, what you have, you have solutes uh, from the tubular fluid and returning them uh, to the blood. Uh, what we have, we have uh, uh, sodium chloride, bicarbonate, potassium, and water, glucose, amino acid, and the other molecules can be reclaimed back from the filtrate into the circulatory system. Any process of absorption away can the hermetic filtration be created to less trees to be able to regain reabsorption or do by the now renal tubule the area where any the dry and basha. Then basha not she be created do by the reabsorption be created to be or a great to be now she be now circulatory system. So at a amount she any renal tubular reabsorption is the reclaiming of what of any returning or reabsorption of what of the water is to and the solutes and to our can back into the circulatory system. Then uh, uh, what we have uh, so this is this term the iso isosmotic isosmotic. Uh, so normally when uh, there is a tight coupling between what between the sodium and water reabsorption when sodium is reabsorbed directly water is moving to the site where you have let, let us say high level of what of sodium and the, this process is called isosmotic and here can take a solute can reabsorption and bob because of the sodium because water can be to the site because i'm going to my water my whole life i'll see what i see سلوت کنیم که اما پیوته 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 ایزوز ایزوز ماتی که یعنی پیه کوانی کپلین هی لبینی ام دو پروسیس هم and the third and last process or part in the process of uniformation is a tubular secretion if you have a look here this is the secretion of 
some chemicals from the circulatory system into the uh, renal tubule. So any bone or tubule excretion, okay, now blood or I get a now tubule. So any matter here can have an excretion involved here. So the excretion is passing. So the tubular excretion, uh, ama tubular excretion into the tubular space. It is a, a process in which the renal tubule extracts its chemicals from the capillary blood and uh, from the capillaries somewhere here uh, and excrete them into the tubular fluid. So into the fluid. Okay, and from the uh, it is opposite uh, to that of the reabsorption. The absorption claiming back the filtrate or the solutes and water into the circulatory system by excretion from the uh, uh, circulatory system, from the blood vessels of the circulatory system back into the renal tubule. Okay, so uh, this the process of excretion has two main advantages. The first one is the waste removal. Some chemical agents might not uh, be filtered because of their size or and because of their charges. So through the process of uh, excretion, they can be excreted into where? Into the uh, renal tubules. And then also it has a, let us say, a major role in the process of acid-base balance. Acid-base balance, so regulation between the uh, hydrogen and the, uh, let us what we just call it the uh, uh, <coughs> and the OH uh, hydrogen and the uh, OH uh, uh, within the kidneys. Okay, and as you know, the process of acid base balance is a complex uh, process and uh, it can be managed uh, through the kidneys and the respiratory system. And then uh, uh, the uh, now we are done with the process of urine formation. We said it passing through three main steps: uh, the glandular filtration, um, tubular uh, reabsorption, and tubular secretion. And we explain it each of them, each of the uh, of uh, the process through which the uh, process of urine formation can uh, be managed. Okay, so now I'm trying to explain the uh, process which is called GFR or glandular filtration rate. Glandular filtration rate. So it is the amount of the filtrate that can be formed per minute of time by the two kidneys. By the two. Kidney. filtration rate. the amount the amount the filtrate. filtration. We can treat it with your tip. Uh, filtration. So normally about 150 to 180 liter of filtrate is formed per day. So if you have a look at uh, this amount, normally what we said, if you remember um, when we had our lectures about the blood physiology, we said normally an average person has about uh, four. Uh, to six liter of, of blood. So, uh, if you if you look at this volume, it is about uh, let's say sixty to ninety. Sixty times higher than the uh, volume of the blood in our body. So, without the process of reabsorption, uh, we might not be able to tolerate such a kind of filtration rate. Okay, any. Even Satu Panjabo Satu Hashta liter the filtration and filtrate juice the bit. Kawata Yamilishima Kasiki Asai, which man la female a charbo pinch liter Kasiki Asai, while a male shadakiban 
پنج بو شش لیتر لچی هی لب لبلاد لبش معنی حیا یعنی اگر بون من لماوی یک روزه صد و پنجاه بو صد و هشت لیتر فیلترش نی بو بکرید کاتا اما تقریبا تقریبا شصت جاد زیادتر لب کمیت لیتر لبلاد لیتر لفرن معنی حیا لبر او با بیه پروسسی ری ابزورشن یه من نتونم تحملی ام ام پروسر تشه بینه و همو حلولیوش لیلش من لامعوی چند ساعتی که هنده دسته دی حالا هم بخوی پروسسی ری ابزورشن و بدام راست فیلترش نی بگوی بلا هم ری ابزور بکر تو بود که بناسی که بگوی سیست سو اباوت نانتی نان پرسنت آف دیس فیلترت آف دیس وولیو can be reabsorbed and only one to two liter of the filtrate is excreted, excreted as, as urine. So, uh, massive or let us say a uh, uh, large portion portion of what of the filtrate can be uh, claim it back or reabsorb it into the circulatory system again. Uh, and only about one to two liter of the filtrate uh, can uh, be excreted uh, as urine. So the urine output is only about one in a normal uh, average uh, person. Uh, the urine output is only about one to two liter. لیتر لیورینی هیا و او کمیتی تر که فیلترشنی با که ام سطو پنجا با سطو هشتا لیتر همون چی با کرد ری ابزورشنی با کرد دوباره با نو سیکولیتر لیسیس یعنی تقریبا لطبا نو تو نوی ام کمیتا ری ابزورشنی با اکریتا که تنها سیکی آسای تنها یک با دو لیتر لچی هیا لیورینی هیا سو وی ویل ترای تو اکسپلین در کندیشن از اینی ویت این ویچ ازی urine volume can uh, be used as uh, an indicator to judge a specific clinical condition. Okay, so water reabsorption, um, uh, so the process of water reabsorption can happen at uh, different uh, parts of the renal uh, tubules, okay? The first one is about, let us say, about 65% of uh, the uh, water uh, from the filtrate can be claimed back or reabsorbed from the, from the proximal convoluted tubule. And the given Shastupienji O Awake filtration book, I was a the proximal convoluted tubule reabsorption book. About 50% uh, of the uh, water within the filtrate can be uh, claimed back, back or reabsorbed at the descending limb. At the descending limb of Henley, thin descend, descending limb of Henley, and approximately about 19% uh, of uh, the uh, uh, water or filtered water or water from the filtrate, from the filtrate within the renal tubule, uh, can be claimed back from where from the distal convoluted tubule and the collecting duct. And they collect the collecting and uh, that here. Okay, so this volume, the the nineteen percent of of the of the water, is directly under the control of a hormone which is called the antidiuretic hormone. We will explain this later. For instance, if you have a defect in the excretion and the function of uh, of the antidiuretic hormone, so about nineteen percent of the of this volume of the filtrate cannot be claimed back into the circulatory system. So uh, you have the, the patient, patient or the person uh, might have a large urine output or a higher amount of, uh, of urine in compared to what to, uh, to a normal person. So this condition is called the diabetic insipidus. We will explain this later, but uh, please try to remember this. this 90% of the filtrate is tightly or let us say is under the control of what of the antidiuretic hormone. The hormone which is excreted from where? From the posterior part of the pituitary gland 
uh, I think we already had our lecture about the endocrine system. We, we mentioned the hormones of anterior and posterior part of the pubic nerve. Okay, so obviously about only about one percent of the filtry water is eliminated as urine. urine دروغات collecting ducket الرؤى داود معنى أن بسطة نوزعي لجه كنترولي شيء أنتي دياريتيك هورمون كلا posterior part of the gland إفراد ذكري أجل هدي فكت لا فنكشني أنتي دياريتيك هورمون هبه أو كاتا أن بسطة نوزعي ناتواني كلين بكري ناتواني وربي جيدتوا أو كاتا لسطة نوزعي يعني أو فوليومي كتو كدروسة بيلا يورين شيء بيتوا زور تربيت بحالتي آساعي ومش گر پیوندی به هورمون رو هم بو کاتا پی او تی چی پی او تی دیابتیک این سپید است یعنی جوره که ل لحالت کی کلینیکی وای باسیه تا اوکی و تقریبا ل سطا یکی ام فیلتریتا مطمئن ل سطا نوزی فیلتریتا که یعنی ام کمیتا لجیر کنترل انتی دیابتیک هورمون و ل سطا یکی ام فیلتریتا او کو یورین افراز کیت دروا اگر تو ل سطا یکی 150 و 180 وار بگی ادینی و چنک ل تقريبا لبيني ليتشيك بو دو لتر ابيت كميتي او يوريني كتشيبت كا كا دروسه اوكي سو يورين فوليوم سو ان افريج ادلت برودوسز اباوت ليتس سي 1 تو 2 لتر اوف يورين بير دي اي ثينك وي منشن ذيس ان ذا بريفيوس سلايد اوكي نيكاتا هاز بي او يوريني كدروسه بي تقريبا يك بو دو لتر لكاسيكي اساني اوكي so we have some clinical conditions uh, which uh, are related to what to the or can be diagnosed basis on what on the uh, volume of the urine output so the first condition is called what is called diuresis uh, or polyuria diuresis and polyuria is uh, an increase in the uh, during output to more than two liters and we said a normal person has about one to two liter so when a person has more than two liter of uh, during per day so this is called what call it diuresis or polyuria okay poly many you know this uh, polyuria okay so uh, if you have a look at this caricature you can see directly said uh, see see this person is trying to get to the bath, okay? Just to release himself, okay? So what are the main causes of uh, polyuria? The first cause of the polyuria is an increase in the volume of fluid intake. So when you have uh, an excessive um, water or uh, water intake or uh, let us say juice or ever let's say liquid is uh, so this lead to what lead to an increase in the volume of what of the urine output so this is a physiological and normal condition and uh, it is not considered as a let us say a clinical condition just is depending on what on the volume of the fluid intake we expect وتريان زوت يا اي خوي تو اكسبكتي كشي كيونيشن تشيبت لا فوليوم لا دو فول دو ليتر كتشيبت زيات بيت اند ذا سيكند وان سيكند فاكتور ما بي ريد تو سام دراجز اند سام تريتمنتس ساتش از بيروزيمايد ويتش از ا دايركتيك ايجنت يعني بيروزيمايد ام ما ديك كا درمانيك بكار يبو كسانيك a diabetician here who has it can be used as a treatment for let us say the patient is who has a 
cardiovascular defects, congenital, let us say congestive heart failure or the other types of heart failure. Uh, so when a person is taking this drug, uh, we expect an increase in what in the urine out. Yani hani kese heka chi heka renal stony he yani healthy tree he ya. Chi bo ke am am agenti ke wad agde ke wadi gilo kate urine output chi heka disanazak. So the uh, an increase in the volume of the of of the urine output uh, in this case is depending on what on the uh, on the let us say on the effect of this okay and the third uh, factor which might lead to to diuresis or polyuria is they are related to what to the chronic diseases such as diabetes so we have different types of uh, diabetes the first one is called diabetes mellitus you know we have two types of diabetes uh, diabetic mellitus the um, we have type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus. I think we already mentioned this okay and uh, <clears throat> Uh, the second type of the diabetic is called the gest gestational gest gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes. This type of the diabetes is uh, related to what to the pregnancy, especially in those uh, patients um, who has a family history of diabetes and their body mass index is above two twenty five. Any I make and this condition has mainly happened uh, uh, in the, let us say, in the pregnant uh, woman uh, who has, uh, as we mentioned before, who has, let us say, uh, any, uh, the family history of diabetes. And the Okasanic body mass index is a family history family history and any case and a can in Cassanese can and bone diet while Shakanian can hear Shakrian have what you stood. Well, Zorja, a better way would have a tea catch how the red Tahibana do I pins man boshers man zor was Mumshin Lessed and Derby Kabram can afford come Nala Kibu Chancy Zori here chart bet or any case and reversible and this condition is a reversible condition condition or sometimes might persist. After the parturition, okay. And he is just by the way, he is just he is bizarrely not in a situation that we can say that he is in a situation that we can say that he is in a situation that we can say that he is in a situation that we can say that he is in a situation that we can say that he is in a situation that we can say that he is in a situation that we can say that he is in a situation that we can say that he is in a situation that we can Nail it glucose metabolism group that show you protein zone mechanical such as energy. Well, categories all the she after the cat perseguent or okata shaky zone accumulation and to up how to do second. And the third type of diabetes is called diabetes or diabetes in speeders. We will explain this when we get to the anti diabetic hormone function. Then, what we have, we have another type of diabetic. Is called renal diabetes. So the renal diabetes is a specific type of diabetes, and this type of diabetes is related to what to the um, uh, glucose uh, canals within the kidney. Any o o ductani o let us say transport rani ka chigers no ka sugar la kidney ne halte ka koi am transport am transport rani niya bo وقاص نوع الشكر كاتنا تاني أبتيت الشكر كاتا ولا يورين هني تواني أبتيت الشكر كاتا ولا يورين بهوي نبوني كان على كاني شكر أبتيت هوا أو كاتا أزمول على تي يورين بهوي الشكر وزورة ده وبرة الزور ل أو لناو يورين نا بهوي أزمول على تي وأمينين هوا كما هوا أو كاتا بوليوني هني شيء بيت زين أوكي the second type of Renal or urine related disorders is called oli oliguria. Oliguria, it is a reduction in the urine output 
to less than 500 ml uh, per day. Me half a liter per day. Yani, or kasef akhiban la pinsat any new liter la pinsat mil the roja kamil he can feel the bo basta. And uh, this third type of uh, uh, renal related disorder is called it an anuria. Okay, and you know, no, or very, let us say, little amount. Okay, so it is a clinical condition, anuria, which is characterized by uh, reduction uh, in the urine volume to less than 100 ml per day. So, in, in, in the case of anuria, the, the patient has, let us say, a tiny amount or a very small amount of urine out. It is, it is normally less than 100 ml. Okay. I mean, until the sat cc, I mean, the 0.8 liter. Okay. 0.8 liter, let's check out the urine cat per day, per 24 hours. And if you have a look at this uh, cartoon, you can directly explain. See the difficulty. I mean, he's trying to have only few drops of of this. Okay, so low uh, urine output uh, might be related to some defects or some physiological factor. The first one is the uh, renal disease. So some uh, types of the renal disease might reduce the urine output to less uh, than five hundred or one hundred. Let us say null per day. The second factor, which is a physiological factor, is related to the dehydration. So, dehy as you know, dehydration has any uh, has several uh, causes, such as uh, diarrhea, uh, vomiting, burn, uh, uh, and uh, the other causes. Uh, I mean, is horrible, you know, dehydration, but we thirst or whatever, we chili tea or that, or reduction in the water intake. Any heart eater, Hamana, Kabahoi, Reduction in the urine output might be related to the circulatory shock. So, the circulatory shock is a specific type of shock uh, where the patient is suffering from a uh, systemic vasodilatation. I mean, full of honey, funny, calb, nawawa, tushi, shebetawa, awika, any. Hydrostatic pressure, a vast man to evade the positive filtration. Come on, read that filtration, wash your runa, the okata urination. Come on, so and the, the last uh, cause of uh, the reduction in the urine output might be related to what uh, prostate enlargement. Okay, and you, I, I think I'm quite sure you heard you, you heard quite a lot about the uh, uh, prostate uh, gland and uh, the prostate enlargement uh, might be related to what to uh, mostly is related to some specific type of cancer which is called prostate cancer okay so if uh, urine output drops to less than uh, 400 ml per day the body cannot maintain a safe low concentration of wastes in the blood plasma so you um, uh, uh, as you know uh, most of the waste product is in which is produced by the body's cells uh, can be eliminated through the kidneys when there is a reduction in the urine output so uh, we, we expect it, what we expect it, uh, uh, <clears throat> low rate of uh, uh, waste elimination I mean rasgarbunda was to urine output this lead to a specific type of a specific condition which is known as azotemia. Azotemia is mainly, this term is mainly used to define the conditions in which the level of nitrogen-based uh, molecules 
که آرین تریسیم یعنی اگر یولین آور پوت کمی کرد با چهار سات میلو کارتو زور بی او وستی کلش من دوسته به اما زور بی لگه یو کنی و لگه سی اکی نگه دوا و لیوال روی سره چی هی بس کنی یکی گره ارگان سره چی کن لو مجاله و او کارتو به تویلی افلی وستی ناو لشا زوره به بطایبتی او مادانی که نایتروژین لب پیکاتا که انا هی و بیده خوی حالت توی ازوتینی امش ممکنی به تویلی بورانه و دوی و به تقوی بورانه و به تقوی کما و چکا چهار سنه که ممکنه اتمال بی پای کلیم و چه کشنده دارم Regulation of the renal blood flow and the pressure So this is all about the regulation of a local renal blood flow and pressure Okay, and the now kidney khoi am hawa ta in each nephron, the distal convoluted tubule, uh, if you remember what we have, we said we have proximal convoluted tubule, loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubule, then collecting that way. So in each nephron, nephron, you know what you mean by nephron, distal, not proximal, a distal convoluted tubule contains this part, uh, specialized uh, cells known as the macula densa. Okay, macula densa cells. This is these cells or those cells are uh, they are specialized uh, uh, cells known as what as the macula densa cells that act as sodium uh, concentration sensor. So when there is any changes in the level of the sodium within the filtrate, filtrate here. So they can be sensed or detect, detected by what? By the macula densa cells. So uh, alongside in this part or maybe in this part, so alongside the macula densa cells, the wall of the afferent arterial. And we have we have such a kind of cells even within the efferent arterial, but they are predominant in the uh, wall of the afferent arterial. So containing the modified, modified smooth muscle uh, cell fiber, which are called uh, jacista glomerular cells, jacista glomerular cells. So modified smooth muscle cells. You from, you can directly say when you have a smooth muscle cells within the wall of a tubular structure. So. Uh, the contraction of the smooth muscles might increase, sorry, decrease the diameter of what of the uh, of the let us say arterial or the afferent arterial, and the relaxation of the smooth muscle lead to what lead to the increase in the diameter of the afferent arterials. And if you remember what we said, we said uh, the uh, renal uh, glomerular filtration is mainly depend on what on the filtration pressure what we said the, we said the filtra filtration pressure is depending on the difference between the diameter of the afferent and the efferent arterioles okay afferent arteriole is the artery which deliver the blood into the capillary uh, let us say glomerular capillary the capillary is here and the efferent arteriole is the arteriole which drain the, bl the blood from the capillaries toward the peritubular capillaries, if you remember this. So, increase in the diameter of afferent arteriole lead to what? In lead to what? Lead to the increase in the pressure on the uh, glomerular capillaries here, and the process of filtration can be increasing okay while reduction in the diameter of the afferent arteriole lead to what lead to in compared to what to the afferent diameter of the afferent arteriolus lead to what lead to the reduction in the process of filtration okay so the coordination between the macula densa cell and the jacista glomerular cells they constitute a let us say a specific type of arrangement arrangements which are Call it the Jacista glomerular apparatus.
يعني ام دوانا شيكن ديك سيركولار ابراتيز جو سيكن ويتش ريجوليت بلاد بريشر اند يورين فلو ويز ان ذا كيدني سو ذيس از اول اباوت اس ايف وين وي ستارتد ويز ذي سلايد وات وي سيد وي سيد ذا ذيس سيستم از ووكين اون وات اون ذي ذي هاف ا لوكاليزد افكت اون ذي رينال بلاد بريشر اوكي يعني تقريبا لنا خوي كيدني تشيكن ريجوليشن بو اكثر و اگه دائمی تری افرین آرتیل وقت زیاد که معنای و فیلتریشن زوره بی که فیلتریشن زوری کرد معنای یورین آوتپوت زوره بی اگر هاتو دائمی تری کمی کرد معنای و فیلتریشن کمی بی تو معنای و معنای و یورین نیم تو اتفاقا بکی بلاد پرشر اتوانی زیادی کاتیان کمی کات تو و هز زیاد کرد و کم کردی نیکل فیلتریشنیش رفلکت کی بتشیو بید با اینکریس یا دیکریسی شکات يورين فلو كالا يأتيو لأي كدني So the hormones which are responsible for the regulation of the blood pressure The first one is called the renin angiotensin system renin angiotensin system So the in response to reduced blood pressure So due to let us say reduction in the blood volume due to the bleeding or the other dehydration or vomiting or other any factor which might decrease the blood volume and blood pressure so when there is a hypotension reduction in the blood pressure the jacistaglomerular cells jacistaglomerular cells or cells we just we just mentioned it uh, in the previous slide secrete an enzyme which is called renin they secrete what? They secrete this enzyme into the blood. Renin stimulates the conversion of what? Of angiotensinogen into what? Into angiotensin 1. And angiot angiotensin converting enzyme, this is a specific enzyme, can convert uh, the angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. So, so the angiotensin 2 is the functional enzyme. So it is the active form of the angiotensin and it can regulate uh, or repair the reduced uh, blood volume or blood pressure through two main pathways. The first one is through the induction of um, uh, vasoconstriction, systemic vasoconstriction. When you have a vasoconstriction, so it means uh, the uh, blood pressure might uh, return back into its normal uh, situation or the hypotension can be returned back into its normal uh, uh, phase okay so and this second uh, pathway uh, which uh, angiotensin 2 can occur through is through stimulation of what of aldosterone secretion we will explain the impact of aldosterone later. So aldosterone increases water and uh, sodium retention. So they include increase the reabsorption of sodium and water into the back into the circulatory system. And when you have an increased, let us say, reabsorption of water and sodium back into the circulatory system, so this leads to what? Due to an increase in the amount of the blood and the reduced blood volume and hypotension can be return it back into its normal uh, situation. Okay. Any aldosterone and uh, angiotensin, uh, renino angiotensin 1, angiotensin converting enzyme, angiotensin 2, angiotensin la dure go ishaka, yan vasoconstriction rogani, krishbuni, mululakani, kwene kabo, away, okam, kemetella, blood hair, uh, pressure like a baskato, never hypotension, a rubida, who do him and regain. A simulation of aldosterone excretion a cat or aldosterone check at uh honey which is like another but we can our sodium were bigger no but now bigger not absorption but when we're now blood we're going to show you that our legal sodium can be so variable now blood or cut in pc blood pressure like i am blood volume like i got to sell value asset i mean i can hold one can you enjoy tensing so 
hormone is that influence the reabsorption of water. So we have different types of hormones and each hormone has its own specific strategy to uh, repair or return or uh, induce excretion or uh, induce the reabsorption of water and uh, sodium back into the circulatory system. The first hormone uh, is the aldosterone. Okay, aldosterone, we, we just mentioned this. We said angiotensin 2 can act through aldosterone, okay, one of the pathways of the angiotensin. So aldosterone, it is secreted by what? By the adrenal cortex in response to what? To a high blood potassium level, reduced sodium, blood sodium level, and reduced blood pressure. So when you have, let us say, less sodium it means what reduction in blood pressure uh, also high level of potassium can uh, also uh, lead to what to the reduction in the blood pressure and cannabinoid blood pressure hypertension and this an increase in the level of potassium reduction in the level of sodium and blood pressure lead to what lead to the release of the aldosterone from where from the uh, adrenal cortex, okay, from the adrenal gland, and aldosterone. What is the when we have let us say high level of aldosterone in the blood? Aldosterone stimulated the reabsorption of sodium ion, and when there is an increase in the level of sodium uptake or returning reabsorption of sodium into this circulatory system, so uh, if you remember what we said, we said there is a tight coupling between the sodium reabsorption and water. So when sodium ion is reabsorbed, so directly through the process of osmosis, water can move in uh, to the circulatory system again, and uh, this lead to what lead to uh, the reduction uh, uh, of uh, the urine volume and increasing the uh, blood volume. Okay, so this help maintain normal blood volume and blood pressure. Now, if I have got a hypertension, it will be slightly damaged. Blood volume will come out. The regular reabsorption sodium water will help to take charge. The second uh, hormone is called atrial natriuretic peptide. Atria. It means what the hormone is related to the atria of the heart. You know how, what we have within the heart. We have the atria, atria, and ventricles. Okay, for right and left atrium, and right and left ventricle. Okay, so the atrial natriuretic peptide is secreted from where? From the atrium of the heart. In response to what? In response to high blood pressure, they it 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 release a hormone which is called atrial natriuretic peptide, and the atrial pep natriuretic peptide uh, enter into the circulatory system and gets into the kidneys, and within the kidney, at the uh, tubular situs. They induce what? They induce or they stimulate a reduction in what? In the sodium ion reabsorption by the kidneys. When discretion of uh, or discretion of the sodium, let us say, or when the reabsorption of the sodium ion is reduced by the kidney, so it means the sodium retain within the filter. When the sodium ret retained within the filter is so the water cannot uh, be reabsorbed back into the blood, and this lead, lead to what lead to the excretion of water, and uh, lowering the blood volume and blood pressure. When you have let us say increase in the uh, urine output, any vitamin is getting zora be mane wa blood volume chibi to kama ka ukata pressure zora ka chibi to kama bi. This is uh, the the hormone which we mentioned it 
during our lectures when we talked about the water reabsorption, which is called the antidiuretic hormone. Antidiuretic hormone, um, I think we mentioned this hormone when we had our lecture about the endocrine system. We said the antidiuretic hormone is uh, released uh, from where from the posterior part of the uh, of the pituitary gland, the posterior part of the pituitary gland, the frase there. Um, in response to what to reduce the volume of water in the blood and hypertension. So, the reduced level of water in the blood it means what an increase in the osmolality of the blood. And the osmolality blood check out ziadaka. Kateka ziadiki or kata we have some specific uh, receptors which are called the osmo receptors. Any receptor in kamas ulin body texturing chain sensor. Masculine detection is the osmolality blood are rupta. Katika awi la blood kam buyo manaywa osmolality ziadaka. So they induce the osmoreceptors which are scattered throughout the brain and some parts of the cardiovascular system. The hani bashi cardiovascular system ula hani dek parti brain ahe ka osmolality blood ni aw kam buyo la nao blood amana hasas sensation ka te azanan. Wu abeta huichi ifrazi antidiuretic hormone. Quid rusbuni antidiuretic hormone lecuela from the hypothalamus and then through the hypothalamus to the neurons. The, we said that the, the posterior part of the pituitary gland is a direct extension of, of the hypothalamus. So they can send it to the uh, through the axon of the neurons to the pituitary, posterior part of the pituitary gland and from posterior part of the pituitary gland can be excreted into where into the circulatory system the antidiuretic hormone get into the uh, kidney through the blood and they induce if you remember the water reabsorption the from where from the collecting ductus and uh, distal convoluted tubule mainly at uh, in the uh, collecting ductus the 19 percent of the water is reabsorbed here if you remember so uh, uh, the water can be uh, reabsorbed through some specific canals which are called aquaporin. Uh, so the, the water can be drained back into the circulatory system when there is an increase in the water reabsorption. So it means uh, what? It means uh, retaining back of uh, the uh, blood pressure and blood volume into it is normal uh, level or normal uh, uh, situation okay any antidiuretic hormone is okay to film i'm going to be absorption you will tell the way it's very good more community was sodium or nearly that can have the dark hormone combined in killer was the part of the project even our blood i got a thing you can the collecting decade check out بانجيني انتي دياريتي كورمون لغير رسيبتري انتي دياريتي كورمون رسيبتري هي خوي كالا الاندوثيالي كولاكين دكتا هيا و اكاتشيب كاد بخوي سايت لغا دي نيوسين منوخوص كي توكا زور من حزبك دي تيلا كي تعم بندن شي كاد انسيتي اكوابورين كنالا كا بوناو چي بوناو رينال تيبيولا كا و ابيتا هوي ريابزورشيني واتا دايريكتلي وكي بو لناو فلتريت اكتوا لناو او فلتريت اكتوا لناو تشيب بلا فيه باك بوناو وكيو بوناو بلاد وكمان تي زور او ريزور شني بو اكيو بم شيوة ابتا هوي تشي ابتا هوي ريتا بلاد بيشرك او بلاد بوليوم بكاري سر حواتي اسعي بو سو هايبو this is the last slide سو هايبو سكريشن او فانتي دياريتيك هرمون lead to the development of a condition which is known as Diabetes in speedless, which is characterized by a reduction in the water reabsorption and followed by an increase in the volume of urine. I think we mentioned quite a lot of this condition when we had our in the previous slides when we talked about the uh, uh, causes of uh, diuresis or polyuria. Okay. So, uh, again, how to antidiuretic hormone level like it can be your yeah, screen bone, yeah, yeah, defect in the structure and hormone. How to have a far okay, so that yeah, defect in the 
ستركتري اكوا بولين هابو كاريال دوشني و تركا اكا يا للرسير تركي هابو شي كابيتا هوي اوي كاكمت بزور او لرقي يورينو لدس بتاي و يورين او كود زيادة كاني بولين يورين لدولي تزو زيادة كاني داتا هجدا بو بيس لتر زيادة لروش اكا ولان چون لدابيتيك انسبيتس جاكي تو دابيتيك سوري دابيتيك ملقص یا اور اذر تایپس اور دایبیتیس چون جای که تو لبر اوی لاما شوگر لیابلی شوگر یا کم یان یان حالتی نورماله چی بید هایپوتونیک سولوشنی که زوری تازه کنی سولوتی زور کم تیاره لناوجوری نکه بلام لعوان شوگر زور تایب کنی که دایبیتر شوگر ممکن زور بید تریل دوشین شوگر نکه تا و یا کمی تیک زور هر تیک دشنه دوست بی، ولی ام چیا ام چیا اینی شکلی تیا کم ایان و کن ورمال و های بو حالت ال شکید جاهید. فنکا اینی مرز او در باره رینال فیزیولوژی بو و هر پسیاری تیا هر کشی کن هبو اینی کن کرد او لرگی گوگل کلاس رو مکان زیمان هبی و حول ذين كهر هر شيء شيء جاشتي شيء كان هبيك للدلوي أم موضوع عش بيد بس بيوم دي برينا الفيزيولوجيا وهبيك أما توانين باسي بكين وخصيل السرتين وجاي في سرك كان كان بينه بتوعي سركوتين بو أبو سركوتين